Hello, it's Mary. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's look, I use this um, Eloise the Queen palette to do my eye look and I love the way it came out. And then for my cheeks, I use the Cheek Stars and I love the way that came out. And my LA Colors for a little light pink blush. So if you want to see how I got this look and how I made this makeup come together, just keep on watching, okay? Hi, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. My name's Mary, and I'm so glad you tuned in. So, you know, I haven't been making a video for just a few days because I had to do some things. Um, I'm having my teeth worked on, and I had my hair, I colored my hair myself, and if you want to see how I did that, I'll list the products below. But if you want to, next time I color my hair, I'll show you how I do it. Of course, the cut I go and get done professionally. But since I had a little time, I thought I'd work on some things that I wanted to improve in my videos. And the first one was my brows. So it took me some time to find this, but one of my subscribers sent me a message that L'Oreal carries this. I think her name is SL. She sent me this nice message that the uh, L'Oreal carried this a pen and what it is it's like a tattoo pen and in fact let's let me read the name of it to you because it was really hard for me to find I had to go into Ulta to find it um, it's um, micro ink pencil brow stylus 48 hour so it does last for a couple days so yeah I thought that is nice and my color I got is dark blonde the reason I got the dark blonde is if I buy the light blonde it doesn't have enough depth of color to show up on me so being this is the I'm trying out to do my videos in a different way also instead of putting my foundation on first I'm gonna do like the experts do and I'm gonna do it last okay so this okay this okay you can draw your brow on with this so let's just give this a whirl here and see how we do. Starting with my right brow first, I'm just gonna go in and draw in like I would with my pencil, my lines, and I'm making them pretty fine, and I'm getting a little more brow in the front area with this, and then I'm gonna go along the top of the brow ever so carefully, and here's where my turnaround spot is right here, and I'm going to come down and draw my brow like that. Wow, this is a very interesting pen. <clears throat> it doesn't have a ball in it to shake up the product. It doesn't do that. So, okay. So you can draw fine lines with this. And that's what I'm attempting to do with these little short spurts. And I like to have my eye go up like this. So it brings my eye up and not dragging it down. But I really like the effect. Okay, let's put the cap back on. I'm gonna shake it a little more and we're gonna do my left eyebrow, which is a little harder for me to do. I have to say my left side of my eyes and my face is a little harder to do, but we can do it. Okay, so here we go. This time I'm gonna start up here at the arch and I'm just gonna bring it down with the fine lines, just like that. Okay, and just coming up like this and coming back down. I'm glad I got the dark blonde. I can see that it is the better color for me. I think the light blonde would have been a little bit too light. Okay. All right, and so I can easily draw on my brow just like that. And coming along the top of it just like this. I just want to fill in the front part right here. Okay, a line right here and then up. Okay. Now, I'm just going to shake this up a little bit and give it an opportunity to give me a little more ink. Okay, and here we go on the lower 
the lower part of my brow right here and just going up. Okay. All right. Now I might have to give it a minute because um, I need to get more of the darker part down, but pretty good. Now, also, I went into the store to get, before I found the micro pen, I went into the store and I was in Walmart and I found this brown pencil. Now, I don't usually buy an Auburn pencil, but this time I got an Auburn pencil. Let's see how this one works to fill in my brow, just a tad bit. I don't have to do too much to my brow, just a tad bit of it. And then over here, we're gonna use the Auburn again and come up here and it just fills it in just a little bit better. And as I say, I like to do the top of the brow better than I like to do the lower part of the brow so it doesn't look heavy and weighted down. Kind of gives you a bit of a lift. Now, this one's working pretty good for my... There we go, that's working good. All right, this gives me some more definition to my brow. Let's try back to the pen again. And let's see if we got some more color coming up. Yeah, it's got some more color coming up. So you can see this pen is an interesting way to draw your brow on. We'll see how long it lasts, but so far so good. I'm pleased with it. There we go. Okay, now another way to clean it up is I have the Billion Dollar Brows and <clears throat> in the Billion Dollar Brow um, packet, I have uh, the brow outliner. Let's see if I have it right over here. And let's see, do I have that one? <clears throat> Just one second, I'm gonna get that for us. Okay, I found it. It's my billion dollar brow. And I got it in my in my um, boxy lux. So I think one is a highlighter and one is a regular um, conditioner, concealer. So I'm gonna just take out this right here. Okay, and now I'm just gonna go along the um, brow just like this. Bow, bow, bow. Then right here and outline the brow a little bit. Yes, okay, and then I'm gonna go along the top end and outline my brow a little bit. Now this takes a, a few extra minutes but I want to tell you, when you get the finishing, the finished touch, it looks really nice to have gone in and filled that in. It really does it really nice. Then, in order to blend it, I just take a nice little brush that I can handle. You can see it's a small brush and I can handle the movement of it and where it goes and just brush it away from the brow and just get it to mix in with your skin color because I'm going to go in with my foundation but until I go in with my foundation, this is gonna act as my buffer to kind of clear, clean all this up. My little dog wants a walk, so in a, just a minute I'll take her out, but um, it's early in the morning and it's really cold still, so I just wanna wait a little bit more and when I take her out, it'll be a little bit warmer. She's so happy. Every time I see her, she's wagging her tail. She loves a walk. Okay, now that does my brows, you see? And I think that's a little bit more impressive than just what I was doing with the, um, the brow stick. I also have a pomade I could use, but I felt like just to try with these new products to see how it would come out. Now, we're gonna go into the eyes. And for the eye look, I found, you know, I love a white base on my eye and I've been into this Revolution Pro makeup lately, and of course, you know, it is a highlighter, but what I loved about it, and I think I'm gonna use the same brush because it's gonna go right where I want it to go. I'm gonna take this white color right in here. This is Revolution Pro. They sell it at Ulta, and it's got quite a line of um, makeup in there. And then, 
okay I'm gonna just go in with the white right here now another thing I did differently I usually put on some putty or something heavy on my eyelid to make uh, the eyeshadow stick but today I went rather light I went with just a couple things I went on with my um, tart my tart and this <clears throat> is a box that came in tart um, Timeless, let's see, primer. It's a, a facial primer. Yeah, it's a facial primer. And it says um, smoothing primer base for the base. So I didn't put that on all over my face. I'm going to do a base for my face when I get to that part. But just for the eyes, I put it right up here. And my attempt is to not have any fine lines and wrinkles that show. That's my attempt. <laughs> okay, here we go with the white on the other eye. And you see how this lays down a nice white base for whatever color we're going to use? So whatever color we're going to use, it's going to help it um, really pop and look nice. There it goes, just like that. Okay, all right. So um, I got it all over the eye just like that. And what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go in with, um, clean this up a little bit. So, <clears throat> let's try. I think this brush might be a tad bit too big. I'll get a little brush, <clears throat> say this size, and I'm just going to bring all that in just like that. And just help it blend into the eyelid really nicely and give me a nice white base. Now, for this look, I'm going to use uh, a product I did get in one of my boxes, and it's this palette. It's the the Queen, Eloise the Queen. It's such a beautiful palette. Look at all those colors. So, first thing I'm going to do is go in with the lighter colors and build it up. I'm trying a little different approach to doing my eyes today, different than I had used before. So we'll see. I'm going to use a little bit of a blending brush for this I look here okay so this blending brush is um, blending brush tapered blending brush um, oh let me see what the name of it is here it's kind of tiny on here it says um, Mott Elizabeth Mott oh, okay now the color I want to start with is kind of a lighter color. So let's go in and start with this color right here. This light brown here. Okay. And we'll get a little bit on the brush and we'll see how it comes out. Oh yeah, that's really pretty, huh? It's a nice color. It gives us a nice base. And I just want to have it come up like this and out and up to do a little bit of a upward sweep so it brings the eye up okay now let's do this other eye and get it right in the crease I don't want to have too much of a fallout although I don't find any fallout from this one at this time it seems really good there we go and just blending it up and out. That's really pretty. Oh, I see that this um, Tarte um, uh, priming primer is really working. I can see the difference. Okay, now I got this one done. So now I'm going to go in with a little darker color, this color. I'm doing things a little different this time, and I hope you like it. I hope it comes out nice for me, too. Yeah, I'm just going in just a little bit more depth of color with this darker color. And what it's doing, too, is it's warming it up a little bit, too. And I kind of like that. I kind of like it to be warming up the whole look. So this one can go just a little lower. And how pretty is that? Okay, now we're going to do a little bit on the other eye. And it's just going into the lower part of the eyelid here, above my crease, and just making it look so pretty there. 
and I'm giving it a little more depth of color towards the outer corner. Yeah, that's good. Look at this one, a little more depth of color. All right. That looks really pretty. What do you think? I think it's coming out good so far. And now, in order to get the color I really want to do is a purple. And there's so many pretty purples, and the gray is pretty with it, too. So I have this color or this color in the purple. Wow, aren't they beautiful? Okay. So, oh, and then I really want a highlighted color in the... Um, in the beginning and over to the middle and that could be this beautiful color right here and this one we might have to use uh, with a little setting spray and we'll see if that'll shine it up a little bit and make it come out a little brighter but I think I'm gonna go and do the corners now with the purple and see how that comes out I think this is a beautiful color on the inner cor on the inner corner. And of course, we can always go in and put some setting spray on it and liven it up a little bit. But so far, so good. Oh. Sometimes it just takes a few minutes and it settles down and it settles in and it looks really nice. So we got the two beautiful purples. Let's work with them. I think they look so pretty. All right. My goal is to use the purple as like the kind of uh, the main color that we're going to go for to match my clothes and see how it looks. All right. You can see I do have some fallout. Sometimes the best way to remove it is just to brush it off because when you start um, trying to put anything down on it, it may get, go into your skin a little bit more and you don't want that. So <clears throat> let's uh, have me do the purple and let's start with <clears throat> the lighter purple first, I think. And I bet this is gonna really pack a punch. Yeah, I think so. It's really pretty. All right, start with the lighter purple. It's so pretty. All right. And just a little bit towards the outer. <clears throat> just blending it just a little bit and only using one side of my brush to put it in. Just one side of the brush is fine. That way I can control how much I'm putting on. And go like that. I think it's nice. Okay, and we're gonna come up here towards the middle. Right, right there. Isn't that nice? That is so pretty. Really pretty. <clears throat> you like the color? I think it's beautiful. Just going in with a little bit more depth of the color. Purple is just so pretty. Okay, now I'm going to go to the outer corner and I'm going to go into the darker purple. And let's blend some of this darker purple in. Yeah, it's just enhancing the purple really nicely. It's just enhancing the purple really nicely. And what I like to do is just go into the outer corner of the eye like a V and then kind of bring it in to go in with the uh, brownish color, but not too much because I want to maintain my brown color as a, a barrier here. Okay, so now as I can tell, let's go in and put on another color in the middle of the lid. And I know just what color I want to use. I see it right here. But for this color, I'm going to use a little setting spray. Just a little bit. <clears throat> it's going to help me get the color on the brush. It's going to help it look really nice. I love the set to use the setting spray for that reason. It really works pretty good. Let's go in with this light blue color here. I think you're going to be surprised at how pretty this color comes out. Oh, and it went right up on the brush. Yeah, I just love that. That is so pretty with the purple. Okay. 
All right, that is so pretty with the purple. All right, so that helps blend the purple in. And one more thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the uh, purple again and liven it up in any spots that I, it hasn't kind of met with the, where it hasn't met with the purple, okay. So, in order to do so, I'm going to go back with a little more of a defining brush like this. A little more of a defining brush. I'm going to go in with the lighter purple. And I'm going to have it blend like that. And have it blend like that. It gives it a little more um, oomph of the color. So you really see the color. Alright, I think that is so pretty. All right, I think that is so pretty. So we're gonna go ahead and do the, um, after I put my foundation on, we're gonna go in lastly and put on the under eye color. But for now, I'm going to just jump off the camera and I'll put mascara on and my lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I got my eyelashes on. My eyes almost done except the lower lash. And I got this new, um, foundation at Walmart. It's made by Profusion. I thought I'd give it a try. I like the packaging. It's really feminine and pretty. And then um, it says long wear skin perfection. Feels, feels good skin. I got it in light cool pink. Now usually I, I like the warm colors but let's see. Let's just see how the cool pink comes out. I got a little bit on my beauty blender. And let's go ahead and put this on and see how it does. Oh, wow. I can see it's really a nice coverage. It's got moisture in it. I can see the moisture in it as I put it on. It kind of slides really nicely. And let's get another little drop and come over here and do the other side of my face. I used to always do my foundation first, but I think that since I'm doing the eye first, I think it's giving me a little more of a clean look because any fallout that I might have had, I can just remove. Whereas before, I had to deal with the fallout because I had my foundation on. That didn't work so good. Okay, let's get one more drop. And we'll do the chin and the nose. I also got a new concealer from L'Oreal. We're going to put that under the eyes and across the bridge of the nose. But you can see this is a nice foundation. It's not too heavy. And it goes on really nice. And I think it, it's going to make my skin look I, I don't have a foundation on at all. I think that's so nice. All right. Oh, so nice. I love it. We'll see how it dries down. But yeah, it feels good on the skin like it says. It's a feel good feeling on the skin. All right. So now, I like the packaging that it came in, too. Now, the price is another thing. It was under $7. I think it was $6.97 at Walmart. It's got a beautiful packaging with it. Beautiful gold rose tone. Really nice. Really nice foundation. For a light foundation or medium, even. I think that's beautiful coverage. Now, I got this... L'Oreal Concealer and it is the um, True Match by L'Oreal okay and I'm in W123 light light so when you do your concealer it's Sometimes good to do one shade lighter than your regular foundation. And this will make your under eye and across the bridge of your nose and your eyes more highlighted by just using a little lighter concealer. 
Okay, and we're just going to dab this ever so carefully under the eye here. The Beauty Blender helps me get it in. I do have a smaller one. Next time I'll take that smaller one out and we'll use that for just under the eye area. Another thing you can do is if you're having trouble getting into just under the eye area, you can use your finger. And I think I'm going to do that just to get a tad bit more under the eye right here and right here. We'll see if I can just dab this ever so gently with my fingertips and it will go in nicely. Oh yeah. And even though it's a um, wet concealer, it's not really dry or sticky, it does go on really nicely. Now this is why I didn't put on my shadow under my eye for my lower lash because I knew I was going to put my concealer on and it might affect it. So, yeah, that's drying down really nicely. There we go. Got a little mascara that went down. Oh, okay. Wow. Now I'm going to use my Beauty Blender and help it just get blended in, just like that. Okay. Now, I like that. That is really a nice um, combination. And I think it covered my skin really well. It, um, did, it did the trick really nicely. So, next thing, we're going to go back into my Eloise palette and we're going to do the lower lash. Now, let's go in with this um, <clears throat> this color right here. I think this would be a nice color for the lower lash. Yeah, I think that is a pretty nice color for the lower lash. get a little more on my have always have enough on your brush so that you're not trying to stretch for it there it goes and then I'm gonna go over with my mascara on my lower lash and I like to wing it out right here and over on this side I like to wing it out right here and kind of finish the framework of the eye just like that I think it came out really nice I'm glad I chose this color versus the purple I think the purple would have looked a little bit too uh, drastic for this look yeah okay and I got this eye pencil in, I'm pretty sure it's my boxy charm, the brown, and I've been loving it. I'm going to go into the inner rim of my lower lash with that and have the brown color be highlighted, just like that. Okay, now let's go into my cheek palette. This is the Cheek Stars palette. I haven't used this for a while, but it's such a nice palette. And I'm going to go a little lighter. Oh, my palette came apart. I'm going to go a little lighter with my colors. Look at that, it came apart. It is cardboard. See, it all came out. All right, now, another thing I need is, oh, the little brush, I have it somewhere out there. Yeah, okay, so let's go in a little lighter with the cheek and the, um. Let's go in with this color. I'm not usually using the, that color, but let's go in with that color as my um, bronzer. Okay. Let's go in and bronze up my face just a tad bit here. I think that's a pretty color. Yeah, I think it's a pretty color. And then I like to come up here and around the top like that. 
Okay, I think that's really pretty. It's coming out nice. I was going to, I'm going to use a pink color blush, and I'll show you that in just a minute. I have it out to use. I think the pink is a, a light pink is a good color to go with my look here. I love this bronzer. I think it goes into the skin so nicely. The Benefit products are really nice. And they are more like a higher end product. But I really do like them in general. I've always liked the Benefit products. Okay, now I'm going to find my little blush that I had picked out for this. And it happens to be an L.A. Colors little brush, blush. And look at how light it is. But I think it's going to work. If not, I can always get something a little bit darker. And then I'm going to use this brush to put it in. It's a little more of a dense brush, but let's see how it works. Oh, yeah. Coming out nice. Oh yeah, the whole the whole side of my face looks really nice with the blush and the bronzer. And I'm kind of combining the two as I move along here with my brush. Down my nose a little bit and my forehead a little bit. But as you can see, this um this foundation and this bronzer goes well together, huh? Okay, so let's do a little highlight. I got this palette at uh, Ulta when I saw it. It was $12 and I bought it right away so I wouldn't lose it. So let's go in with the highlighter and let's get this. I like to put it on with this brush and let's just go up and down with the brush and see if we can highlight this area just ever so gently with this pink and it's going to help bring my blush up a little bit. Oh, that's so pretty. It's a blush and a highlighter combined. Oh yeah, you can really see it right there. So I'm gonna blend that part in really good. Just blend it in. I'm gonna get a different brush to blend it. Let's get a different blending brush for that. There we go. Just to blend it in nicely and that'll do it really nicely, this big brush. It's a good blending brush. Okay, so lastly, we're going to go in with our lips. Wow, it came out pretty. Really nice. What do you think? It came out really nice. Lastly, we're going to go in with the, um, the lip color. And I found a couple. I found this one. Um, I kind of like this color. It's, um, uh, let's try this color. Go along with the eye look I have. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna let that dry down just a little bit and I have a lip liner. Let's infuse a little bit of this reddish lip liner. Okay, now that looks really nice. So how do you think it looks? It looks good, huh? So I think that does it for this eye look for today. I hope you like it. I hope you like my video and the look that I came up with. And um, stay tuned and we're going to come up with another look tomorrow so you just keep on watching okay all right so whatever time your day you're watching i hope you have a great day if it's morning noon or night or you're up at night you can't sleep all right so come back for my next video okay all right see you next time <laughs>